Hi everyone, so today's video, oh my god, my voice sounds really bad, alright. Well, anyways, today's video is a um, everyday makeup routine, and yeah. This is just the makeup that I wear on a daily basis when I decide to wear makeup, so keep that in mind that I just don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do, this is what I do, and um, sometimes it's a little less products and sometimes a little, it's a little more. So I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the video. I always start out with the primer because I honestly think that my makeup wouldn't last as long if I didn't have a primer. So I'm using a primer of course and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in light and it's oil free so it doesn't feel like gross and greasy. It's not going to clog up your pores. I just apply this all over my face so um, it provides like a nice base for the rest of my makeup and makes everything stick and last all day long. From there, I use a concealer under my eyes and to brighten up any other parts of my face. Sometimes I use a little less concealer, sometimes more, it just depends. But the one I've been using is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. And I really like this concealer. Um, it's a little bit light for me, that's why I like to use it just as a brightening concealer under my eyes, sometimes around my nose and the mouth, it just kind of depends. And if I have any zits or pimples, I like to use a heavier concealer. This is the CoverGirl um, Smoothie Smooth. Some sort of CoverGirl Smooth Concealer thing. CG Smoothers, I think is what it's called. Next, I use a powder, and this is the CoverGirl um, Clean Sensitive Skin Press Powder in 255 Soft Honey. And this is my perfect skin tone right now. And it's just a really great powder. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. It looks really gross and weird. And I think it's because I accidentally got it wet. It just looks kind of gross. I don't know. But I can still use it. I still get powder out of it. I like it mostly because it's not super thick like some powders can be really thick and look so cakey on your skin but when I put this on it just looks so natural it just works with my skin so I don't really go for blush or bronzer or anything on a day-to-day -day basis if it's a nice occasion I'll apply blush or bronzer or if I just um, feel like jazzing up my makeup sometimes I do it just kind of depends but for the most part I don't really use blush or bronzer on a day-to-day -day basis I like to use a lip balm this is the minted rose uh, lip balms by Smith's I guess that's what it's called um, I had the regular rosebud solve and it's really awesome so then I got the mint one as you guys know and it is just as good um, it's basically the exact same thing except it's minted so it has like a menthol kind of feeling to it so it just gives you a really nice minty feeling on your lips so I really like that and I just use this to moisturize my lips and give my lips a little bit of extra shine so it's really nice and natural looking okay so next I like to fill in my eyebrows it kind of just depends if I feel like it or not um, sometimes I'll just swipe on some brow gel and be good to go for the brows but um, I like to fill my brows sometimes so I use this Maybelline velvet black um, expert wear eyeliner um, it, you can use it as a brow pencil or eyeliner, it just depends. But um, it's super tiny, I actually stole this from my mom. <laughs> hey mom. <laughs> but I just use this to fill in my brows. Um, nothing too crazy, just some, uh, some of the sparse areas. Um, and just to make them look a little bolder, I guess, as if they weren't bold enough because I've got these huge arches in them. Next I use my super nasty and disgusting brow gel. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. One side is mascara, which is clear, and then the other one is just a brow gel, but I just use both for my brows. And um, it's really gross because the powder that I use got mixed into it from when I applied it, so it's starting to look kind of brown and it's running out pretty quickly, but it's only a dollar, so I'll probably repurchase this again. Next step is mascara, but I always curl my lashes before I um, apply my mascara. So this is just a Sony Kashuk um, lash curler, and it looks like a torture device. I remember the first time I used a lash curler and curled my lashes, I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? And it's not actually that bad. And then, of course, my mascara. This is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara in Black is Black. And, of course, it's waterproof because I love waterproof mascara. It just holds so much longer. The curl lasts longer, and um, I feel like it just lengthens my lashes better. I have really, really short little lashes, so I need all the help I can get. And last but not least, eyeliner. Um, I tend to not really wear eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, it kind of just depends. A lot of this... Like this whole routine, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling or what I'm doing that day. So um, I do like to wear eyeliner though. Um, so this is the Scandalized Waterproof Kohl Kahal Kajal Eyeliner by Rimmel London. And this is in what shade? Brown. I thought it was going to have like a creative name. 
um, instead of like, you know, like maybe chocolate or like hazelnut. I don't even know. But I just use this on my lower waterline and um, sometimes on my tight line as well. So that wraps up my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and let me know if you have any recommendations for um, drugstore makeup products because as you could tell there was a lot of drugstore makeup products in this video and I always like to try out some more. So let me know what you use. Anyways, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!